Hi everyone, I'm Chris, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to talk about something that doesn't really get covered much in Airsoft, uh, but I think it's fairly important really, partly from a safety point of view. Um, and it's the admin reload, or a load as I would refer to it, the GBB rifle. It's that point when you've come out of the safe zone, obviously you'll have your eye protection on, you're out in the out on the skirmish field, and it's time to take your weapon from the state where there are no BBs in it and put BBs into it. And in this case, a source of uh, a source of power, as it were, with, with the gas inside the magazine. Now, with AEGs, it's pretty simple. You've already got the battery, and all you do is put in a magazine. You know, there's no, there's nothing more to it than that. With a GBB rifle, it's a bit more involved, and Really, I think you should treat these things as if they were the real thing, and 99% they function the exact same way. Let's, let's take a look at the, that initial loading procedure. I covered this already on pistols, but I wanted to do it on GBB rifles because it's, it's pretty similar overall. Um, obviously, this is a, an AR-15 variant. Um, there's a lot of that out there. You've got your GBBs, the new KWA, WE, KJW. Various companies that make copies of those other systems. And that's all your ARs, but then there's also G36s, M14s. The, the whole process is pretty much going to work the same. Um, maybe the, the controls and all that sort of thing is going to be slightly different, but not all that much. So we'll start off with the AR. Always, uh, remember to be safe, even if you're not, not about to shoot right away, it always makes sense. So the first thing to do, you've, you've pulled your uh, rifle out of storage. You, you should never, you know, assume that there isn't a BB in it because I've made that mistake before. I've fucked up, and you know, I've been just, uh, just playing around with one of my airsoft guns, and you pull the trigger because you think there's only gas, and it turns out you left one in the pipe in the hot unit, and it's not what you want. I mean, I was lucky that it didn't hurt me, but you know, I learned that lesson that was many years ago. I can guarantee you I won't ever do it again. And following this procedure, every time you pick up your GBB rifle, it's going to help you avoid that potential, you know, either you losing an eye, someone else in your house losing an eye, breaking something valuable, whatever it might be. So we'll, we'll run through it now. First thing to start off with, I say you've just picked up the rifle. I say it's uh, it's you know something like that storage type condition and extended your stock so what I would recommend first is a uh, to just lock your bolt to the rear whichever weapon system you're using it's going to be different on how you do that but just lock it backwards and check inside the hot unit looking for that little white um, white sphere or actually a, you know I'd recommend more is to look for the empty chamber because if you think too often to look for the BB, then you'll open it up, see a BB, and think, yep, there's a BB, and shoot it off. And that's what you don't want, especially if you've inserted a magazine for whatever reason. So, lock bolt to the rear, working parts as we call it, but anyway, bolt sock to the rear, look for that empty hop unit. If you see white, you know you need to get a cleaning on jamming rod down the end of the barrel there and get that BB out. So we've checked it's clear, bolt goes forward, practice shot, practice your sight alignment, sight picture, trigger control, just that one extra little repetition always helps. So now we know the, uh, the actual the chamber as it were is empty. Now on these rifles we're going to want to cock the gun again, set the safety to on from semi. With AR-15s obviously you can't engage the safety while the, the hammer is up you need to cock the action in order to engage your safety slash selector. So that's good to go. Now you can take your magazine, get whichever grip you find comfortable, be it that's what's called a beer can grip, you can also index like that, whichever one you prefer. Grab your magazine, practice your, your reloading here, head up, eyes up, weapons up in your workspace as it's called. And you want you want to come up to the magwell, pause for a second, firm insert, maybe give it a slight pull, 
downwards, just a tiny bit of pressure in, in that direction, just to double check. Magazines in. At this point, obviously, making sure the rifle is in a safe direction. Now we're ready. Charging handle all the way back. Let it go. Don't ride it forward because what can happen? I'll, I'll demonstrate by taking the mag out for a second. Especially on on these rifles, if you uh, if you ride the charging handle forward, like see how the, the bolt's not all the way in battery there, there's that gap. And this is because the latch on the charging handle will sit like that, it's not all the way. Let me let that go a minute, the bolt goes all the way forward again. So we now know there's a, uh, there is a BB in the chamber. Personally I would close up my dust cover again because the first time you pull the, the trigger in the game the bolt will open up by itself and you know if you tripped up or whatever on your way out to the game then you know, it's going to save you getting dirt and crap inside the actual receiver inside that bolt carrier um, because obviously that's not what you want. So at this point we know, we know the magazine is fully and securely inserted, we know We've wrapped the action. Now, there's, if you want to be 100% certain that you have moved a BB from the magazine into the hop unit, what you can do is have a look at which side the BB is on. Now, I didn't mention this earlier, which I, I should have admit, but if I had looked before I actually loaded the weapon, the BB would have been sitting on the other side, so me looking from back here it would have been on the left and now you can see it's on the right when I look at it from the back here so that means I know a BB has been taken out of there and it's now in the weapon so at that point we're good to go safety's up we're all you know loaded all we need to do is when a target presents itself switch from safe onto semi pull the trigger and we're off Cheers for watching guys, I appreciate it. See you next time.